Welcome back to another video guys. Firstly, it is so, so windy. It's like hurricanes where I am. So I do apologise if there's any background noise. Right guys, so next couple of days, I haven't really got a lot of time on my hands, but I have got a lot of just nail stuff from all over the place that all needs putting away. So I thought I'm just going to get through it all and show you and do a part one today. It's just going to be Temu. This is only a small order, but it's stuff that I'm dying to use. So I'm going to start with Temu today and show you what I've got off Temu. So I'm going to get straight into it. And again, guys, for anybody that is new to Temu, if you are a new user and you download the app, you will get 50% off your first order. I've got a discount code. I'll leave it up on the screen. If you search that discount code, it will give you 50% off your first order. And you can also collect $100 or £100, depending what country you're in. Coupon bundle. Lots and lots of advantages for anybody that is new to Temu. And it is ranked number one at the minute above Amazon. It is crazy. It's free shipping. There's no taxes. I don't think I've ever had a delivery that's took longer than seven days. Absolutely fantastic shopping place. It's so addictive. All links to every product that I show you will be in my description box. The link to all my recommended items will be down there. My discount code will be down there. Well worth checking out. So shall we get into it and see what I got? I did get some of these. I think it might have been on my last haul. So these are extra long full cover tips. I got coffin last time. Well, this time I've got square. I don't have many square long, long tips. So I've got these mostly to go in my practice hand. Let me show you my practice hand one second. I'm not sure what size. Let's just grab one for now. Yeah, if I get things like 2XL, there's plenty of room for me to slide it in. And then I've still got all this to work on. And they're also good for my own nails, for doing full cover. If I want to have a go at doing some longer nails these are really nice they've not got much of a c curve i'm not into c curves at the minute but yeah these are not stupidly long i have got the 3xl version of these i just wanted the extra long so these are perfect yeah and they're a really nice length for my practice hand if i just want to do a gel polish design square they're a really really nice length aren't they i really like them so what have we got sizes 0 so we've got sizes 0 to 11 yeah so these go up to teeny tiny teeny tiny ones these are really nice let's have a look at the 0 on the extra extra long tips the zeros are always really big yeah they're huge they're massive I would probably need a size 2 I don't know what it is with the extra extra long tips the zeros are always brilliant but the shorter the tip, the smaller they get. You'd think they'd all be the same size kind of nail bed. See, yeah, a size 2 is what would fit me perfectly in these. But yeah, I really like the length of them and I really like the shape. 240 pieces as well. I'll leave the prices up of everything on the screen, guys, as well. So I'm really happy with those. Right, and then next I've got a couple of packs of plastic nail forms so these are dual forms and there's a reason i got these let's have a look i have got hundreds of dual forms but i don't have any in these shapes so these ones are like very similar to the tips i've just showed you let me get a better size out yeah these are like what i've just showed you but these have got a little bit more of a c curve and they're just long square They've got a nice amount of room for product in these as well. And I'll show you why I've got all these different shaped dual forms in a minute. I do like these. These are really, really nice shape. And they're quite long. But they've got the little notches. So you don't obviously have to go that long. You can have them quite short. Or really, really long. I like the look of these. So they are sizes 0 to 11 again. Let's have a look at the zero. See, that's not too bad. I could get away with the size zero on those. 
Yeah, so I got those, they're quite long square. And then I got these. So these ones, again, I haven't got any. These ones are coffin. Just plain and simple coffin dual forms. I like the look of these as well. So again, you could do them quite short or you could do them really long. I really like, yeah, I don't have any regular coffin dual forms. I really like the shape of them. They've got a little bit of a C curve as well. Yeah, I like the length and I like the shape of those. They're really, really nice, actually. I'm really happy with them. So I got those, I'm really excited to use those and I'll show you why I got those now. I don't know if any of you remember the nail foam thingy me bobs that I got. These are the silicone, they're the little silicone mouldy things that you put inside jewel forms to do French. I am going to use these and see if I can get them to work because I see a lot of people struggling to get them to work. I think there's three or four different shapes in there and lengths. So I got these jewel forms so we can do a video using some of these but what I also got, I got some new ones. So these are so that you can do kind of colour blocking so you could have like your pink nail bed then you would use one of these inside the jewel form to maybe do a colour and then your tip. We are going to have a play about with all these anyway, but these are silicone and these look like good ones as well. They are supposed to be reusable as well. So we've got a couple of different shapes to be playing with and I'm excited for these ones. I have actually got another pack of these on the way. When I ordered them, they were out of stock. I was gutted. These are the same thing, but these are different shapes. Let me just... Yeah, these are all little silicone. They're all stuck together. Like these, these are all different different widths of just strips. And again, they go, in, they go inside the jewel forms to make all different patterns and crazy stuff. I've been, I've been seeing some amazing designs on TikTok. I've been seeing some of the stuff people are doing with these little dual form moulds is crazy. Right, so this one's got all different sizes of just circles. Big ones, small ones, medium ones. All different size circles in that one. And then this one is all different size squares. I've seen a girl layering these squares up, layering them up at a different angle. Every square she did she did at a different angle and painted on it and honestly it's hard to imagine but she made the most amazing rolls in the jewel form and when she took the jewel form off it, it left her rolls behind yeah some of the stuff people are doing with these is, is just amazing so then we've got a lot of diamond shaped ones and then these ones are just like kind of wavy wavy line kind of ones no clue what to do with a lot of these but i am definitely going to have fun trying then we've got little flowers i can't remember what was in the other pack that was out of stock but yeah i have got another pack on the way with all different shapes in look at these little tiny little flowers and then we've got one with stars all different size stars and yeah they are silicone so they are going to be reusable look at these little tiny stars I do apologise for my nails as well, guys. I've just got nothing on them, but... Oh, I've got a star stuck. I have kind of got them back. Look, I cut myself yesterday on the mandrel bit and there. Not the mandrel bit. Conehead bit. Very, very sharp one. But I, I am getting my nails back healthy again. They're not looking too bad. Right, and lastly, we have got all different sizes. Of butterflies. Look at these. I can't wait to get stuck into these. Are they different sizes or are they different shapes? I think they're all the same shape, just different sizes. Yeah, I can't wait to get stuck into these and the other ones that I've got coming. So they are gonna be really good fun. But I think to start with, we'll start with the easy ones and see how it goes, work out how they behave and, and then we'll maybe advance onto onto these as we go but I'm definitely excited to be giving these a go can't wait for them right what else did we get from Temu this time oh I got a couple more rings 
I was really happy with the last rings that I got. Only a couple this time. A bit late in the year to be getting this one, but I thought it was adorable and it's resizable. And it's just a little, little white daisies. Isn't that pretty? Really, really cute. So I grabbed that and I got this one. I have got one of these in silver and I wanted a gold, but this is more like a rose gold. I actually thought these were love hearts. The silver one I've got, these are love hearts, but these are actually not. I like that. You could use it like that, or you could have it upside down, I suppose, and just use it like that. And again, that's resizable because you can tighten them and loosen them. So I thought that was nice. And I got one of these. I recently got a new set of brushes off Amazon, and I thought this would go with my brushes. Guys, how smart is this? It's all chameleon colours, and it's got chameleon crystals in it so this is actually a gem picker upper wow i like this and it's got a lid i, ha I did recently from temu get another gem picker upper with a lid but i like this one even more because look it's got the point on it for picking up my caviar beads which is perfect i really like it i really really like that and you can buy off this same listing you can get packs of four refills you can you can get refills of those for when it for when it wears down but i love that i think that's really really smart right what else did we get guys i got these and i need you all to help me out now i got these these are just swatch dots that are supposed to go and gone we're stuck but these are supposed to go like on top of your on top of your gel polish bottles so that you can see what colour your gels are in your drawer and it comes with stickers. But these are flat back, right? I have seen some of these where they're not flat back, they're kind of hollowed out, and I wanted these to start swatching my poly gel because I want to get a folder of poly gel swatches. But I wanted the ones that, have, that are not flat, they're kind of dipped in, so I can start putting my poly gel in them and sticking them in my folder. But these are the flat back ones. I've seen a couple of people on Instagram swatching acrylics in the back of these, but mine have turned up and they are flat back. So if anybody knows where I can get these from that are not flat back, I need mine to be hollowed out, then please let me know. Because, yeah, these are no good to me. I don't use them for polish bottles. And I can't put poly gel inside them because they're flat. I need the ones that are hollowed out. So if anybody knows, let me know. But on the other hand, for somebody that wants to, you know, that wants to put all the colours on top of all the bottles, they are these are actually a good one because they're flat back and they come with the double-sided sticky tabs. So you would just stick your tab on there and peel it off so they are definitely a handy little gadget to have for somebody that's looking for that kind of thing but no i want the ones that are hollow so i'm now on the hunt for more swatch dots that are hollowed out right lastly for temu just one more item I told you it was only a little one today i thought i'd try some of their press-ons guys how cute are these look these are adorable and the pr the price of them i mean I don't know how they do it, I really don't. So let's see what you get. So you get some of the little double-sided sticky tabs. These are really powerful as well. I've used them and they're actually really powerful. So you stick, obviously the whatever's the biggest to fit on your thumb, you stick that onto your thumb and then you peel the top of it off because it's double-sided sticky and then you, you just stick the nail on and they're so thin they don't make the nails bulky or anything and they're so bloody strong so we get a pack of them we get a little itty bitty cute little mini file and these are the press-ons i love these these are right up my street so i'm going straight in for the zero to see what that's like so this is the zero and they are matte as well i like them wow that fits perfect look at this sidewall to sidewall i like these 
So we've got the plain orange ones with the little ghosts and the stars and then we've got the French tick ones with the stitching and then these are the, the pumpkins, the ghosts. I like that they are matte as well. So there's 24 in there, so you're getting two sets. These are really, really cool. I like the length and the shape as well. They're fantastic. They've got so many to choose from as well. Loads to choose from. So we're definitely going to give them a go and we'll see how long they last. Yeah, I'm well impressed with them. They are well cute. I do wish that the design was the other way around, though. Some people do the design so that it's facing them, don't they? Like these are. I always do my designs so they're facing outwards. So that would be the way I would do mine with the ghosts facing outwards. But it really doesn't matter. They are well cool. I like them a lot. But anyway, guys, that is it for Temu today. I'll leave links to everything below. Don't forget, if you've never downloaded that app, go and download the app. You have the massive 50% off discount on your first order and get and collect your $100 coupon bundle. Make sure you take advantage of all that, guys. Everything you need to know will all be in my description box. There'll be product links down there. There'll be a link to all my recommended items. But yeah, that is it for today, guys. So that is part one of my nail art supplies, nail stuffs haul. Part two will either be Amazon, AliExpress, or a bit of both. Not sure yet. But yeah, that is it for today, guys. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully, I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care. Bye.